Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fuck that happened. That's about the only time I smile. No signs of Cliff here. Damn it! You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool! Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. Uh, maybe... Uh, I I'm sure he's still alive. Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. No, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stole, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stole? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Uh, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine, at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining... Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await! Sophie has interesting people working for her, like a pilgrim, apparently.
has it, the Night Runners built these weapons.
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Hayden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes, but you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Walsh. Downside, he's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy.
Damien. Come on, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. center. God damn it. I hear Barney got himself into trouble again. Look who's here. Welcome to the bazaar, Pilgrim. Barney, what are you up to this time? Man. Damien, open this door before I bust it down. Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Peak. 
don't trust the people. Let's talk, Aiden. Don't listen to what they say, Pilgrim. Barney may be impulsive, but he truly cares about the bazaar.
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me. On those poor victims. On my brother. And even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors. I can handle that. Goodbye, Aiden. No!
A word, Toby. Carl, you wanted to talk to me? You know, Pilgrim, I'm not a very godly man. But it was not always so. Do you know the biblical story of Daniel and the lions? No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? So, Daniel was a godly man. Prayed three times a day. Never skipped a prayer. Even when his king forbade his subjects to pray to anyone other than himself. Daniel didn't change his ways. So he was sentenced to be thrown into a lion's den. And you don't get out of a lion's den in one piece. Yet, after a whole night, the accusers looked into the den and saw that Daniel was alive and well. Not because he killed all the lions. Not because he escaped, no. His god sent an angel to close the lion's jaws. So Daniel was saved. Having witnessed the true power of Daniel's god, the king ordered that the accusers be thrown into the den, and their wives and children. Is this a metaphor? The PK are the lions, right? Yes. But the big question is, what does God stand for here? I'd say justice. I'd say so too. But why are you telling me this? Because I know that Sophie, my right hand, is currently plotting against the PK. She wants to kill the lions. How do you know that? Because I was granted the gift of observation. And because I know her. And because she's not very secretive about it. The truth is, I'm worried about her. She's of good heart, but she's hot-tempered and won't listen to me anymore. But maybe she'll listen to you. And what do you want me to say to her? Don't provoke the lions. Justice will come to us eventually. If, however, she leads us into the lion's den, there will be no angel to help us. We will all die. Us, our loved ones, everyone. The PK will devour us. Now, I get that you're afraid, but Sophie's her own person. She'll do what she thinks is right. <sighs> That's probably true. I can't make anybody do anything against their will. That's a tyrant's way, not a leader's. Maybe I should focus on what I can do, not on what others should do. Thank you for this conversation, Aiden. It was quite illuminating. has better man, man good thank you and come again Sophie has interesting people with her
God damn it. I hear Barney got himself into trouble again. Yeah. <laughs> 